The Jaguar XJ is a full-size luxury sedan with seating for 5 passengers. Manufactured by the British automaker Jaguar, it is the brand's flagship and is also the largest sedan Jaguar have to offer with striking profile and distinctive styling inside out. If you look closely at the XJ, you'll discover its unique detail that enhances its coupe-like profile and flowing lines with striking signature styling cue, such as the cat claws rear LED tail light. Wheel design is also a powerful expression of its styling. The XJ redefined what a luxury car should be. In short, it features a dramatic combination of beauty, luxury, and power. The XJ also delivers a refreshingly dynamic driving experience thanks to its rigid body structure that features lightweight aluminum construction and near-perfect front-to-rear weight distribution. Its outstanding rigidity provides confidence, precise handling, and is designed to absorb the impact of poor road surfaces in its stride. The advanced body structure also helps the XJ achieve better fuel economy than it would with a heavier steel body structure. Now today, I'm proudly to present to you the all-new 2017 Jaguar XJL. The L at the end means that it comes with a longer wheelbase with 5 inches of extra rear seat to legroom. This new 2017 Jaguar XJ also delivers agile, dynamic performance in a full-size luxury sedan with intuitive onboard technology that help makes driving pleasurable. From the effortless gear shift and enhanced driving control of the Jaguar Drive Selector and Jaguar Drive Control to the smooth and responsive gear changes of Jaguar Sequential Shift, which adapt to suit your driving style. It also features Adaptive Dynamic, which monitors driver input and optimizes the car suspension setting for a superb combination of drive comfort and control. Up front, the XJL features a pair of adaptive full LED headlight with integrated LED daytime running light and LED turn signal light, which provide unique signature light during nighttime. And there you can see the Jaguar LED technology lettering imprinted on the headlight. Very cool looking LED headlight. High intensity retractable headlight washer, as well as park assist are also integrated into the front bumper. Very aggressive looking. And there in the middle is the Jaguar Unique Chrome Grille with Jaguar logo in the middle. I love the way the Chrome Grille looks. It also comes with intermittent rain sensing windshield wipers with adjustable speed. Now moving to the side, you see that this particular model comes standard with 20 inch double spoke alloy wheels with 245-40 Dunlop tires. Behind the wheels the set of internally ventilated brake discs and the huge brake caliber for faster stopping. Brake caliber are painted in silver with Jaguar lettering on it. And here is the specific Jaguar XJ chrome fender with Jaguar supercharged lettering on it. Body color side view mirror with heated and folded option. On top is the panoramic sunroof that feature heat reflective tinted glass panels it extends to the full width of the car and sweeps as far back as the rear seat area, filtering UV rays and flooding the interior with natural light. Rear wheels are also 20 inches. It is stacked in width with 275-35 Dunlop tire as well. Behind the wheel is also the setup internally ventilated brake disc and the rear brake caliber as you can see. It also comes with tire pressure monitoring system on all four wheels. Now looking at the back, you see that this particular comes with a unique and stylish cat called LED tail light with integrated LED turn signal light as well as LED brake light. Very stylish tail light. And there you have the 5.0 uh, liter badge on the trunk lid. At the bottom is the shiny black rear diffuser that frame the dual chrome tip exhaust. And there you have the trunk release button. And there's the rear view camera located right above the license plate. Third LED brake light. Okay, so here I have the remote with Jaguar lettering on each side of the remote. On the remote, I have the lock, unlock, light, trunk release, and panic button. Now, to turn on the light, just press it once to turn on and press it once again to turn off. Now, let's open it up and check out the interior. 
So the car does come equipped with smart access key system. With the key in your pocket, just press the button located on the door handle once to lock. And as you can see, side mirror will automatically fold once the vehicle is locked. And just put your hand behind the door handle to unlock. And the door does come with self-closed automatic door. The exterior color is known as Tempest Gray, featuring jet ivory leather interior with diamond jet stitching on the seat. It also comes with premium dark wood trims and chrome trims throughout. Very luxurious interior. Now let's jump into the driver's seat, start it up and see how it sounds. Okay, to start it up, just put your foot on the brake and push the stop button to start. Alright, now let's pop the hood and see what the 2017 Jaguar XJL 5.0 Supercharged have to offer. Under the hood is a 5 liter V8 Supercharged engine with intelligent stop and start technology, 8 speed automatic transmission with steering wheel mounted pedal shifter. It is pushing out 470 horsepower and 424 pound-feet of torque and can hit from 0 to 60 in just 4.9 seconds according to Jaguar. Top speed is electronically limited at 155 mph in the US. EPA estimated fuel economy is 15 city, 23 highway, and 18 combined. Now if you want an even more powerful engine, there is a uh, version of 550 horsepower I believe. Now let's shut it down and take a detailed look at the interior. Here is a look at the driver's side door panel with uh, beautiful wood trims there. There you have your Meridian surround sound speaker, door lock and unlock, and three position memory seating. All four windows are fully automatic and there's the side view mirror controlled. Does feature folded option. Another speaker at the bottom, and there's the storage compartment. Jaguar aluminum door seal, and there's the pedal. Okay, here's a close look at the seat. Very nice looking seat. Now both front seat feature 18-way power front seat, plus 4-way power lumbar support, and fully massage functionality which include 5 modes and 5 level of intensity and it does offer heated and ventilated option. Driver seat can recall 3 star position for the seat, steering wheel, as well as outside mirror. The 3 spoke steering wheel is fully wrapped in leather with chrome accenting trims in the middle. Looks and feels very nice. Featuring multi-function control side by side for your convenience with control for audio, voice command, cruise control as well as the most frequent use function in the vehicle. Steering wheel does feature heated option. Behind the steering wheel you have the up and down paddle shifter so you can put it in manual mode for a more aggressive ride. And there you have the windshield wiper control. To the left is the uh, light control as well as turn signal light. And here is a look at the virtual instrument cluster. It is composed of full color TFT display in place of conventional gauges. TFT offers high contrast and sharp resolution graphic communicating vital information at a glance. And you can uh, move through the menu of the screen via the button located on the uh, steering wheel. 
And here, as you can see, you have different themes. Technical shows the red. Graphical shows uh, like a classic gauge. And there is the uh, digital gauge looking like. Really nice features in my opinion. And here you have driving features, trip computer. And inside driving features, you have high beam assist, driver assistant, show warnings. Here's your trip computer settings. Inside setting, you have instrument setting language, security features, flashlight effect, temperature. And here's your tire pressure, your source. Now steering wheel does feature power tilt and telescopic steering column. On the left hand side you have the circular air vent. Very nice touch with a chrome accent around it. Down here you have the trunk release button, the rear fog lights, and the instrument uh, brightness control. And here's a closer look at the dash. Now standard on all the XJL model is a 825 watts meridian surround sound system. It features uh, 20 speakers and dynamic volume control which continuously compensate for changes in ambient sound to give you consistently high quality audio. And located centrally on the dash there you have two circular events in the middle with a uh, circular analog clock and there's the Jaguar logo on top. And here's the uh, large multimedia screen located on the center stack. It is touchscreen as you can see and it is quite responsive. Now let's go back to the first page. Here you, it's saying that you can tap the pencil to edit buttons. On this page here you have your media, telephone, and here's the uh, navigation. There you have your climate control, rear seat media, valley mode camera, in control app, web browser, live, seat, eco data, contact, bluetooth, and voice. Alright, let's go into seat and turn on the massaging function. And already I can feel the uh, massaging working on my uh, back right now. Feels really good actually. And there you have all settings. Inside you have general, time, date, display, master pin, features all kind of different settings and here inside camera is showing it is showing the rear camera and it is in very high uh, quality color all right down here you have the uh, navigation button you know it's kind of like a shortcut buttons media camera again your home button All right, let's turn on the audio so you guys, you guys can hear the uh, sound real quick. Very nice sound quality. And there you have your emergency hazard light, the uh, seat settings, your music button right there. And down here you have the full zone climate control. Very nice uh, premium wood trims on the center console very luxurious looking and here's the uh, shift knob just uh, with your foot on the brake just scroll over to the right for reversed and as you can see rear view camera appear with a uh, guidance line and it will also move as you turn the wheel drive and again push it down and over to the right for a sport and that's when you can use the uh, steering wheel mounted paddle shifter and all the way to the left again for park very easy to use and there you have your uh, full ASPC mode traction on and off and here you have your different driving mode you can choose between winter mode dynamic mode or you can uh, also turn it off for normal mode ASL button right there park and brake lift up to activate and down to deactivate here's your two cup holder for the front passengers again very nice touch to your hand and here you have a small storage compartment, center storage compartment. Inside, look like you have a 12 volt power plug, 
a SIM card slot, SD card slot, and a USB plug. And these are uh, glove box compartment. Just tap your hand there. It's kind of like a uh, touch sensitive to your hand. And a closer look at the seat. Very nice upholstery material. I love that diamond stitching. And it feels really comfortable to sitting in the uh, driver's seat. On top here you have your light control. It is touch sensitive once again. And there's the SOS button to use in case of an emergency. And you also have the parking assist on and off and the rear uh, sunshade. You also have full panoramic sunroof with uh, automatic sunshade as well. And the uh, panoramic sunroof, you can uh, tilt it up for ventilation or you can uh, slide it open for an open air feeling, which is a very nice feature in my opinion. Both the front and the rear passenger can enjoy the uh, skyward view. And there you have the three button universal garage door opener, Alcantara headliner, sun visor mirror here, you have a card holder. Alright now let's check out the rear seat, also comes with a self close automatic door also. And I cannot wait to show you guys, look at this guys, it is like a, a VIP section, two business table with two 10.2 uh, inch uh, TV you can also show uh, navigation and different sources on the TV and here's the uh, rear driver side door panel with premium wood trims, Meridian surround sound speaker you also have the automatic sunshade door lock and unlock, two position memory setting very luxurious and here's the cigarette lighter and you can control everything with that button right there there you have your headphone, headset, and storage compartment. Jack wall aluminum uh, door seal for the rear as well. Alright, now let's jump into the rear seat and see how it is in the back. I cannot imagine myself sitting in the, in the back of this car. I feel like a boss. Uh, front cabin are uh, very spacious. And here's the look to the uh, top. Very nice view. Down here you have two circular air vents, a full zone climate control for the rear passenger. Also have two 12 volt power plug, and it also comes with heated and ventilated seat option. And there is the button you can uh, slide the front passenger seat up if you like. Now it is not a touch screen, but you can uh, fold it down to hide it if you uh, prefer to. And just hit that button to uh, raise it back up. Same goes to the other side. And here you have a business table for your laptop. And you can open it and close it like such. Very nice. And I'm 5'8 and with all the seats, with the seat all the way back, I still have about 5-6 inches of leg room. Here's the center armrest for the rear passenger. Inside you have a uh, SD card slot, HDMI plugged, and a remote control for the rear entertainment system. You can control both TV if you want. Let's see how I turn this thing on. I'm trying to turn it on, but it looks like it doesn't. Oh, there you go. I got it to turn on. So to uh, control each TV, you just have to press the uh, button indicate on the remote control to uh, control each TV. Right now, I'm controlling the right one. As you can see, it is moving right now. And let's hit on navigation. Pretty cool. Same goes for the side, you just press the left hand side button to control it and put it into navigation and you have both navigation in front of you. Very cool. Two cup holders and there is the uh, sitting, the seat setting for both uh, rear seat. Very nice, you have a lot of different settings. You have a full zone climate, I mean a full, a full massaging function for the rear seat, both rear seat and they both recline all the way and you know this uh, bottom section can also move out so you can uh, put and rest your legs you know very nice diamond contrast stitching it is very luxurious in this vehicle 
and right now I have the back uh, on my seat massaging my back and it feels really comfortable too and you can uh, you can choose between you know different options right there very nice this is like a business first class VIP seat I was thinking about this one versus the Maybach you know I reviewed the May Maybach a long time back but this one is kind of comparable to it it has everything the Maybach has but I mean not quite all the option but uh, I mean most of the option the Maybach has this one has for and for the price you know you can't beat that the Maybach is almost like two hundred thousand dollars versus this one is like uh, ninety eight thousand and they're giving a ten thousand dollars discount on this one right now so that's a very very nice uh, discount okay so looking at the trunk you has a very spacious trunk the trunk in the XJL offer 15.2 cubic feet of cargo space which is very spacious and here on the right hand side you have a fuse box let's see what we have down uh, here alright looks like we have a battery and your spare tire on top here you have the release lever just in case you know you got lock into the trunk and there's the one touch close button so to open the trunk just tap that button right there and it'll open and once again press that button to close the trunk okay so gas cap is located on the uh, passenger side and it does require premium unleaded fuel only and it holds approximately 21.1 gallons of fuel so overall the 2017 Jaguar XJL is a flagship full-size four-door vehicle with seating for five passengers rear seating are very spacious and offer plenty of headrooms, legrooms for any size adult to be comfortable not to mention the great upholstery material plus the rear entertainment system with the business first class table I'm sure you will be really comfortable in the back front cabins are very spacious as well you know this kind of our vehicle it doesn't really matter if you sit in the front or the rear I'm pretty sure it is very spacious you know and you'll be really comfortable anywhere you sit alright now let's jump into the front passenger seat for myself to see very comfortable very nice uh, upholstery seat feels really comfortable and very nice dash alright guys that is it for today's review I hope you guys enjoyed the 2017 Jaguar XJL go ahead and leave me a comment letting me know how you guys think and uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more future video review and as always I'm going to take it out for a short drive just gonna take this thing back and park it uh, where it's supposed to be but uh, immediately I can feel that this is a very very smooth ride and you can also put this thing into dynamic mode and it'll still move because it has all the power you ever needed very smooth ride very luxurious feel this is first class vehicle right here guys for the price you can't beat it and for all that it offer in the rear entertainment uh, system you have to get this alright guys I'll see you guys next time